Hi, it's Russell again from the Techie Bloke channel. Um, just another quick video about the DC isolators. So obviously you've got your PV panels um, up on the roof, uh, cables coming down off them into the house or into the garage in this case, um, to the uh, inverter. Before it hits the inverter, you need to be able to isolate those PV panels. So I've actually bought a uh, fairly standard DC isolator here, as you can see, pretty simple on off switch, off on. If it's on, you can't actually dis you know, disconnect the box, so you can't take the box apart. Uh, in order to do that, you have to turn it off and then the lid comes off. Um, now the problem here is that I was hoping to be able to bring the cables sort of from the top of the wall or from the roof down through this port here into the switch port and obviously out the other end just to make it look nice and neat and save any kind of nasty bends on the cables but as you can see here um, we've got four ports four in four out they're all switched but they've got some links across the first two and the second two here so we can't put anything in the top here uh, so all the cables have to come in at the bottom which is going to be a little bit messy to my eye so just checking the paperwork and you can see here that it shows that the um, the plus positive comes in and out the bottom, the first two, and then the negative goes in and out the bottom. So they're kind of going through two switches for some reason. Um, I have looked into this, and if you take this link out and put a cable in L1 and a cable out of T1 and check it with a multimeter, it is actually switched. So all these are switched individually. So in theory, you could have the two positives coming in sorry the positive coming in here out there and the negative coming in here and out there and they would be switched but only on a single switch as opposed to the, the two switches that it goes through there so i assume there's a reason for that um so i guess we better stick with that as you can see i've got the cables here so this would be the positive in and positive out um but having said that i've also been looking at another option for these so you can actually get dc mini circuit breakers this is an ac one but you can get dc one so i've just ordered a uh, a mini mcb uh, con sorry the mini consumer unit that we can put some dc breakers in so i think that would be a, a neater option and it also lets me have the cables coming in the top and out the bottom so once that arrives i'll uh, post another video on that but uh, thanks for now thanks for watching keep your eyes peeled for more videos